Welcome back again. Um, I'm OK Fixer, and this is the 67 Beetle I've been working on for a year and a half. This probably will be the last major video on it before I drive it. So this is we're rounding a completion on this car, uh, which is a year and a half. I got it October 2000. 18 6th on my birthday and it did not look like this <laughs> when I got it lots of work went into it as you all well know uh, I've got some parts to round this video all out uh, one thing I did get is I got a package tray and this is from Rock Auto and it was 60, oh, 60 something dollars. And I don't know what happened to the empty sticker. There it is. It had an empty tag on it. Not going to be able to read that. Uh, but it was, I think, Wolfsburg. I don't know what Wolfsburg wanted for one, and I and I don't know what J J Bugs was seventy something dollars, so this was like sixty three bucks. So uh, it's probably the same thing. Uh, I looked at it and it's wildly cheap. Probably uh, they probably paid the Chinese a dollar to make it. So there you go, and we'll uh, install that. There you go. Um, another thing we got is we got some Russian spark plugs, a set of Turkish points, and a uh, V-belt made in, jeez, uh, I can't remember where it's made, India. There you go. And a Chinese carburetor repair kit so we can work on the original carburetor. I have this little box and I'm going to start accumulating some parts and some tools in there so I can have a little box of tools and parts. That's a good thing to have. Brother Brian sent me these and uh, these are rubber grommets that go under the uh, heater channels. Uh, but uh, as you can see, they are 68 and up, and I told him my car didn't have these. It does, however, have this. Uh, mine's still there, but I will use this. So thank you, Brian, for sending me these. If you want them back, let me know. I will send them to you. There you go. There's the uh, mounting kit for the uh, bamboo parcel. And I wanted to show you these beauties. I got my foam, finally, six weeks I've been waiting, my foam, and my white, real white, chalk white, seat covers. And these are made in the USA by this company in Corona, California, same place they make Fender guitars. So uh, I'm going to start working on these seats and uh, we'll see how this goes. First thing I'll have to do is take it apart, I'm sure and work on the front or the bottom of it and then the uh, the back piece. So we'll do that next.
Uh, this has some uh, some hooks right here and I should be able to put it around and hook it on these hooks and then it also has a tie uh, of sorts and I'll show you how that works. I think it has a tie. Uh, the other ones had wires. Isn't that, that's just painless. Isn't that beautiful? That's just, that's just painless. That's really nice. Well, I want a little bit cleaner piece of carpet. Being that I have, uh, you know, white seat covers. <laughs> I imagine I'll get them a little dirty putting them on. I'll have to clean them up a little bit. That is just painless how that goes on there. Beautiful. And again, uh, I, I have glued the uh, burlap or felt on, wrapped it around and clamped it for those of you who didn't see my earlier video. That just, this might go faster than I thought. Yeah, let's see here. What do you got here? At the back, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. And, uh, we have ourselves a little string here that we're going to tie. Beautiful. It's got a liner on it inside too. These are very nicely made. I think I paid... Uh, whoa! Like uh, 460 bucks. Something like that for everything. Sounds like a lot, but well, that's dusty. You need, to, you need to dust that one of these days. Let's pull down over here. Sassafras flip. I'm guessing. This is going to go around here. It's like this. Um, uh, it's both my contention, and I know it's my brother's contention, that you don't need hog rings on this because there are these nice little pieces of doodad right here that holds your seat cover in place. They're little, little let me get closer to this so you can see. And they just hook on there like that. And then they bend over. And then once you get that done, I think what you're going to do is you're going to take the string and give it and pull it taut and then tie it I think that's what's gonna happen so okay uh, I'm not gonna bore you with wrestling that on uh, and delight you with uh, cussing and swearing because I'm sure that's what it's gonna involve but uh, I'll let you know um, I want to apologize uh, I was looking through this video and I ended up erasing segments and um, I'm, I'm sorry, what are you going to do? Uh, make mistakes. Um, this has a uh, this has a string through it, uh, but uh, I also uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, yeah, got, I wish I would have showed you that, yeah, so and yeah, I already have that one in. <laughs> So, like I said, I've, I've erased some stuff, and I, I really, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, all these have little, little clips like this right here, uh, and you, you pull this around, and, and you stretch it, and you clip it on there. But what you're depending on is you're depending on the vinyl, and, uh, and there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of purchase there. So what I'm doing is I'm 
taking a piece of wire, some of this stuff I've just some baling wire kind of kind of a thing. And I'm not sure that they didn't originally have wire in them, uh, but they have only a string, which is, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's not enough. You know, it's not, it's not what I would have. I would have something a little bit more substantial in my seat. Uh, didn't have an issue with any of the foam. Uh, let me show you something here. Uh, with with this foam here uh, at the top, what I had to do is I put the foam in the pad, or I put the uh, the foam in the seat cover, and then I slipped it on, and then I went up the this side of it, and with both hands, and and I kind of flipped that foam up over the card and the spring, and then pulled it down, and and it was fine. Also on the very uh, edges down here after you get that on around and clipped on uh, um, around the very edges there the foam stuck out a little bit and there's a little bit of material that you can pull up down and and uh, make it so it's the foam's not showing so anyways yeah now what are you gonna do sorry about that so uh, what I did uh, around this seat cover is I put a, uh, a oh and I put a, um, a wire in it. You got to kind of finagle the wire through there. But if you put a little loop in it, your wire comes right through there really nice and easy. And what I'm going to do is when I pull this up and over onto these clips, then the wire is going to be is, is going to be on the kind of on the outside of that so it'll it'll help hold that vinyl does that make sense to you and then um, I'm just going to when I get that on there I'm just going to tie it you know just to yeah and uh, and uh, uh, tie uh, this one yeah and, and I'm just going to loop this around here a couple of times and it should be fine. But uh, this will give it a little bit better purchase. Uh, what, I, what I did with the other one is I started at the front. Let me turn this on. So I started at the front and I compressed the springs of such like this. And uh, like that. And it was pretty simple. And then I made sure that wire was on the inside towards me. That way it'll give good purchase. Just like that. And I just walked around it. Uh, just like this. The, the, the bottoms were pretty simple. The tops were a little bit more difficult. But, but completely doable by just a, the average person. And here's the string that they have. In, incidentally, I will show you how to tie this string. Uh, in a way, it's a half of a half of a trucker's hitch. If one thing I do know how to do is tie knots, so let me get this on there and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, what I did here is I took this wire that came that I run around there. And I twisted it right there. And this wire right here, I twisted around uh, this part of the frame once, and then around the spring. So that's that's good. And then I pounded my uh, my little spikes down. So we should be good. Okay. Here's uh, here is that string. Here's that string. And uh, I want to show you this. If you don't know how to do this, I'll show you how. Just say that this, if I can get this here, can make this happen. Okay. Just say this string here is, it's between these two boards right here. And this is the one that goes around your seat like this, okay? And then you have to tie it together. Okay, well, you know, you can you can tie it like this and then... And then yeah, tie it like that, and, and you know, put a put a couple of granny knots in it, or you can even put a, 
a square knot in it. If you if you are so inclined to put a square knot in that, you could put a square knot in that. Also, if you know how to tie a square knot, and that's a square knot, thing that slips out of there like that, uh, like that. But the, the whole thing is, is you can't tighten that thing up too much. Okay, so what you need is an advantage, and uh, I'll show you how to make it an advantage. Okay, you can use this as a clothesline also, and uh, you could make a double advantage, which is a trucker's knot. Uh, first thing you need to do is you would put a loop in this like this like this okay and then you would take the other other end like this of course and now you have you have an advantage see the advantage right there you have an advantage okay now uh, how you how you finish this I don't know if you can see let me see if I can get you up to this without being in the way hmm. Boy, that's not going to work, is it? Not very well. Uh, I'll try to pull it up where you can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to tighten that up, and you'll pinch it right there. And then you just put a couple half hitches in it. And a couple half hitches, half hitches are just knots. You see, like that. And then you can put another one in it, like this. And they look nice, too. See, half hitches. Half hitches look nice. So that's two half hitches, okay? So... Uh, that's how you can tie that and uh, let me show you let me show you another another knot that you might that you might find clever if you run across this ever okay say you want to tie a clothesline or something like that okay or you want a really strong knot, and you can even use this to pull car out of a ditch if you don't have winch. You can you can put a lot of advantage on it. Okay, so what you do is you have this this rope, and you wrap it around your tree. Let me think here. Yes, you wrap it around your tree. See, so you, like that. So you're attached to the tree like this. And then what you want to do is you put a loop in this. Now, you can just put a loop like this and do it, but I like tying my knot because that way you have a little pulley down here. Like that. And then when you flip this over and you put this rope through that little pulley and you pull on that, I can break this wood if I wanted to. See? Now you have an advantage. See how tight I can make that? Okay, and then of course you pinch it, and then you do your half hitches. Like that. And if you have enough also, you can take and you can loop that half hitch like that. You can loop that half hitch like that. And then one of your, your half hitch will come out. All you have to do is you just pull this like this. And then it'll come loose. This will come loose then. So, I don't know if you knew that. So, there you go. All right. Now you can use whatever knot you want to use on that, but I, I just wanted to use, show you that. One of these days, I'll show you handcuffs. You might, you might like that. <laughs> okay, so you got that, you got that section right. And you got it all done, so not too bad. So uh, what I'm going to do now is put the top on the bottom, and that's pretty self-explanatory. It slides on the top. You kind of put it down like that. You got to kind of pull that out of the way, and then two little acorn nuts go on it. So pretty simple.
you can take a little rod in there like this and give it a pry in order to get that on there. There you go. It's a little full of air. There you go. Beautiful. Let's put it in the car. Okay, there you go. Not too bad. That looks pretty good. Uh, no, I don't have my trim ring on because I haven't taken this thing for a ride yet. Since I haven't taken it for a ride, I have had the front end aligned, but I haven't taken it for a ride. So the steering wheel might be askew a little bit until I find out exactly where it's at. I'm not putting that trim ring on, or that little crest on. So, yeah, there you go. Got to look at that next. And I'll have to take it for a ride. Ooh, that'd be fun. But, let me show you this that I got. How about that? How about them apples? That's pretty slick. There you go. Now let's put that on the car. Well, I set my steering wheel straight and I put my cap on. There you go. Thank you, Brian, for the cap. Very nice of you. Appreciate that. A lot nicer than the one I had. Uh, I just drove it down the street and back. I got into third gear. Mm, nothing special, you know. I just wanted to see if, this, if it was straight. I didn't take you with me because I didn't have insurance. So... I will when I have insurance. So, um, one thing that happened is uh, my left turn signal stopped working and uh, went all over looking. Geez, what's wrong? Geez, what's wrong? Geez, what's wrong? And uh, I got back here and I got up underneath my fender and I grabbed a hold of my wires. And it started working and it stopped working. Started working, stopped working. And what it would do, it was it would light up the turn signal bulb and the parking light would light up at the same time. Now, this is how I fixed this, okay? First thing you have to do a little deductive reasoning, okay? What's the front doing? Because the front is the exact same circuit that the rear is. So when you have the turn signal on the left, if the parking light is on in the front and the turn signal comes on and it works, hey, you're good. We and it's you have to have all four turn signals working in order for most of the stuff to work, but you can turn the signal on and it'll light up the light. Sometimes it'll flash it. Uh, mine flash. Yeah, I don't know about yours whether they'll flash or not. So the circuit's good. You see, that's how I know that. That's how I know that the flasher's good, the switch is good, my wiring under the dash is good, because this one works, and and that one back there is just these wires going back there, so it's got to be something else. And so I uh, got up underneath it and grabbed a hold of the wires, and as you can see. This is your, the red one is your turn signal. This tan one is parking light. And this is your brake light. And you can see they're fractured. And you could hear it going, arcing in there. <laughs> so, so by God, I tell you, you know, the old wiring. So let me uh, fix that all up. And then also I had a uh, the turn signal didn't work over here either so uh, one of the brass they go on these they go in these plastic deals they're yellow now there was clear at one time and they kind of connect and everything's fine and one of them just fell apart the connector fell apart so I just pulled that all off in there and I did this to it, made a female-male connection, female-male connection, and it gives me a lot more room to stuff that up there. And the other one had come out because my piece of material here, I had pushed it up too hard and it didn't have enough room. So they should have made these with two, two inches extra wire or something, you know. But 
wire costs money so you know you know how it is all right let's get these fixed okay what a great deal all finished uh, so <laughs> there you go uh, and it only took a year and a half all right um, went down to Walmart and uh, I got myself an $11 rug and I did a little fold and I tucked and put it in there and that's good enough for me um, I've got a box of <laughs> that's great right there <laughs> uh, cord of oil and some tools and that kind of stuff a little bit my tool roll and whatnot I'll probably get a plastic gizmo on there got my uh, jack in there mounted in there okay everything's good there so there you go uh, I took it out for a drive um, I didn't take you with me because uh, I would have gotten busted <laughs> I don't know uh, I'll take you out when I get insurance on it so um, it did need a, a, a brake adjustment and uh, do you know what this is yeah figured out it's it's so when you do your brake adjustment you can just go and do what it says and you don't have to, there's no thinking say you put that in your glove box uh, what else did I do the bump bumper was a little crooked so I fixed that um, as best I could uh, it's over this way too far and it's too far down on the side uh, the the uh, body of this car is bent or something something's not right on it and uh, the license plate to fix that <laughs> that's great that's just uh, yeah I waited three months for that <laughs> that's a long time so uh, got to get a big old puncture mark in my yeah there but it's okay and um, there you go there you go probably won't have any more videos of this only uh, car shows and such and and driving it I have to do a really good cleanup on it and um, I like the seats are really nice and comfortable they adjust really well ah, straightened out my steering wheel of course and put a trim ring on there and the partial shelf I did my own uh, little deal on there essentially what I did is I screwed it to my cans and my uh, on my speakers uh, the the uh, little the little tiny pieces of little nothing little you couldn't possibly make that work uh, the mounting stuff that they give you, you, you there's no way you couldn't make it work if you had to well maybe if you had to what else did I do oh, I adjusted my headlights and I put my trim rings on uh, there um, uh, here's another one of those things you know it's these can't be original fenders and they can't be original fenders because the buckets just suck as far as how the lights fix fit and the the, uh, the the light assemblies are original German ones you know the adjustments and all that stuff but they just they, they I can't make them I can't make it go where it doesn't want to go you know and uh, it's just frustrating when you deal with this stuff so there's another deal right there is you don't use factory fenders you know uh, how is your headlight stuff gonna work you know I guess I could drill that all probably what I'll do is I'll drill it all out so it's all <laughs> and put some big washers on there I guess I don't know it's yeah <laughs> where are you gonna get the stuff though it looks okay so uh, went through all four gears and uh, didn't come out of gear so there you go <sighs> hurrah <laughs> all done <laughs> all done I can't believe it okay
Cheers.